Alrighty, so in today's video, what I wanna do is build on the idea of algorithmic trading by requesting a live market data stream from interactive brokers. Now, to do this, we're going to need a little more help from interactive brokers API. So I'm gonna go ahead and import from ibapi.contracts the contract class. And what this is gonna allow me to do is it's going to allow me to specify what security to stream data for. In the context of this example, I'm going to be streaming options data. Now, you are required to have an account minimum of $2,000 in addition to purchasing the respective market data subscriptions from Interactive Brokers. But assuming you have all of that set up, I'm going to use this contract on the Spider as our example. And what we're gonna need is the symbol of the underlying asset. So in this case, it's Spider SPY, the security type, which is an option, the exchange it's trading on. It's a smart exchange in this case. The currency is obviously US dollars. The right or the contract right, which is a call in this case. The strike price, which is 395. And the last trading date for the contract which is June 30th. So these are all the parameters that we need to specify when requesting a live market data stream from Interactive Brokers. To do this, we can go ahead and create an instance of the contract class. So I'm gonna do that here, contract is equal to contract. And now we're just gonna go ahead and assign all of the parameters that we just spoke about. So I'm gonna set the symbol equal to SPY. I'm going to set the security type to an option, which is denoted as OPT. I'm going to set the exchange as smart. I'm gonna set the currency as US dollars. Gonna set the right to a call. Gonna set the strike price to 395. And last but not least, I'm gonna set the last trade date or contract month to 2020-0630, which is June 6th, uh, sorry, June 30th, 2020. Now we have to submit our market data request to interactive brokers. And to accomplish, to accomplish this, all we have to do is call the request market data function that's a part of our API socket subclass of eClient. And to do that, all we gotta do is say self.recMarketData. And the parameters that this function takes are a request ID so that we can update or cancel the streaming request. And I'm just gonna use an arbitrary 1000. It takes the contract that we wanna stream data for. So in this case, it's the contract we just created. And for a tick type, I'm just gonna leave it blank. And we don't want it to be a snapshot. We want it to be a live data stream. So I'll specify false and false. And we have no uh, predetermined options or, or settings assigned to this stream. So I'm just gonna create a blank stream rule set. We've effectively created our request for market data for this contract. And, and now what we need is a place for that data to go. And we can do that by creating a callback function in the e wrapper subclass API controller. And the callback function responsible for receiving uh, options data is called tick option computation. And this tick option computation function has a variety of parameters that's returned by the server. And I'm just gonna go ahead and list them off one by one. So we have the request ID. So in this case, the server will return 1000 because that was our request ID. The tick type, the implied volatility, the delta of the option, the option price, the dividend, the options gamma, the options vega, the options theta, and the underlying asset price of the option. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is call the constructor of the superclass T 
tick option computation and feed it the parameters returned from the server. So we'll go ahead and do that for all of our parameters. And now we can do whatever we'd like with the data that's returned from the server. So I'm just going to go ahead and print the underlying asset price. So I'm going to say underlying price. And then I'll print the underlying price. And I'm also going to go ahead and print the option price. So I'm going to say option price. Whoops, price. And I'll print the option price. We effectively have everything we need now to create and stream market data from Interactive Brokers specifically for this option contract. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and create an instance of the trading application class. And I've already booted up my Interactive Brokers gateway so that my Python script can connect to that client to my Interactive Brokers account. And when I run this, you'll notice that the market data has successfully started streaming and we get the option price and the underlying asset price. And if we go ahead and look back at the spider from Yahoo Finance, the data is relatively similar. The last price for the option was 0 0.01 and Interactive Brokers gives us a very specific price, uh, in this case, extending out a very many number of decimal places to ensure that we have the correct uh, option price. So this is just laying the groundwork for everything that we can do with live market data streams and we can create a, a rule set saying if the option price dips below a certain value we buy if it exceeds a certain value we sell and and that goes for the underlying asset as well so there are a variety of, of trading strategies and different por portfolio configurations that you can uh, establish and, and rule sets to follow with this live market data streaming capability